Soul, soul, be now Frederge, the Sims and when last we left off, now that Samuel knows Yvette even better, he's focusing on what he's best at, earning loads of money. While that's not strictly true, he's fast becoming really good with any musical instrument that he gets his hands on, as he now has 9 out of the maximum of 10 points of creativity. If he gains that final skill point, he'll have achieved maximum ranks in a skill, the first of the three sims I control to do so. It's going to be a long, long time before Dave or Yvette manage that, that's for sure. Gaining maximum doesn't have any real benefit in the sense that you gain a bonus for doing so, he won't gain any more creativity by playing the piano or anything like that either, but he will reap the maximum benefits for having maximum creativity, mainly when it comes to painting pictures. He'll be able to get the maximum amount of money for doing so, and while it's nowhere near the amount of money he gets by working his job, it's still a fair amount of money. If you get maximum creativity, you could quite reasonably have a single sim household maintain themselves comfortably by just painting. The same could be said for making gnomes if you have maximum mechanical, but that would be more on par with the amount of money that Samuel is earning. There is a hefty amount of profit to be had in making gnomes. Meanwhile, on the other side of the road, all magical endeavours have ceased, unfortunately, as Dave and Yvette are focusing on taking care of Jim. Jim needs somebody to be there all the time to take care of him, and as such, Dave and Yvette are going to be taking alternate days off work to make sure that somebody is there. I've never had the situation where there is only one sim to take care of a baby. I imagine it could happen if, for instance, they had a baby, the uh, couple in question, and then one of the sims died. That would mean that you'd have to uh, basically give up your job to make sure that you can take care of uh, the baby in question. I suppose if you had the uh, the animal job, the one which is like the uh, dog walker, that's only two hours. If you're very lucky, you could go to work and the baby wouldn't cry during that time, and then you could earn some money, but that is being very lucky. Let's go and focus on Dave and Yvette, shall we? The moods of Dave and Yvette are very contrasting right now. Dave is in a brilliant mood. He could do with a little bit of social interaction and his energy is a little bit low, but otherwise, he's feeling fantastic. Yvette is not feeling fantastic. Hunger is being dealt with, but hygiene is low, fun is very low, and energy is worse than Dave's energy levels. Yvette is going to uh, have to make sure that she keeps an eye on Jim, as Jim could cry at any time, and she needs to be there to take care of him whenever he does cry. But tomorrow it will be Dave's turn, as Yvette will be going to work and Dave will be staying at home. They'll be taking it in turns until Jim becomes a child. Let us let time advance, shall we? Dave is watching Yeti Man! Yvette wishes she was watching Yeti Man! A dog is bringing him a newspaper which talks about another series of Yeti Man! Yeti Man all round! Dog is feeling fantastic, apart from the fact that his energy is really low, and hygiene could do with a little bit of a boost. What we want to do is we want to have a vet uh, use this and then take a shower, and then try and watch television. I'm not going to presume that she's going to be able to actually watch television before Jim starts crying, and then we'll need to figure out what Jim wants, probably by going through each interaction one at a time. What are you going to do, Dave? You're having a fantastic time! Are you uh, going to sleep? Because I'd really like you to um, have a few interactions with Dave here. That would be good. And Dog is coming over to say hello. We're just going to uh, play with Dog a little bit here, and then give Dog a hug, and that should probably help Dave social. And then you can kick a flamingo a little bit. Or maybe you won't have time to do so. Okay, you have time for only one interaction. That's fine, one interaction is certainly better than no interactions. And you've managed to have a shower without Jim crying. That's brilliant. Time for you to uh, then watch television afterwards. Dave is going to go to work, and I think uh, Dog, yep, is going to go to sleep. Hopefully you actually make it to your kennel before you fall asleep in the middle of the grass. Then again, falling to sleep in the grass wouldn't be too terrible. No wait, you've got to go and chase away the paper girl. Do what you do every day now, chase away Nancy. And Nancy will probably run away screaming. Oh dog, never stop being you. And now you've dealt with that, it's time for you to watch the television. 
we're going to have to make sure that we don't advance time, because uh, if we advance time too much, then uh, there's a chance that Jim will uh, cry quite a lot, and we really don't want that. Fortunately, more Yeti Man is on. It is now the channel of Yeti Man that you tune into. It's a new channel. All it has is Yeti Man 24-7. It's very handy. You'd think that the channel they were watching was already Yeti Man 24-7, but no, there are plenty more shows on. It's just that whenever they tune in, it's always Yeti Man. We're going to advance a little bit, not too much though, because if we go to ultra speed here, there is a chance that um, we could leave Jim crying for quite a while. And Dog is dreaming of Dog. Or is Dog dreaming of Spike, the imposter dog? We may never know. Fortunately, fun is going to go up really quickly because uh, that television is awesome. There is one television that is better, and that television is mounted on the wall. We could put that over here, for instance, but that would involve doing things like moving windows and uh, moving where the sofa is, and right now having the sofa there is the best place it could be. We're going to have to uh, turn this off now, and then get rid of this, because uh, that didn't go off while the maid was here. You could actually go and get some sleep. That might be a good idea. Is there anyone that you could talk to? You could actually ring Virginia and see if she wants to uh, have a conversation. This may improve your social, it may also help keep that relationship from deteriorating. Why don't you do that? Alright, hello Virginia, how are you? We're just going to say hello. You're probably going to be at work, aren't you? You are indeed at work, we will try again later. If we have her have a nap right now, if Jim starts crying, she'll wake up, and then she can go and tend to Jim. That's a good idea, your energy is really, really low. Can't have it be this low right now because you'll need to go to work tomorrow. We need your energy to be far higher. Dave can take over the responsibilities of taking care of Jim when. Oh, wait! Jim has started to cry! You got about 10 minutes of sleep and then you had to wake up. We're going to uh, feed Jim first and let's hope that that is all Jim requires. It's not likely, but we're going to try and see if it's that first. It's okay, Jim! We're going to take care of you! We've no idea what's wrong, though! If you could just tell us, that would be fantastic! I know you're actually trying to tell us, but if you could tell us in Simlish rather than crying, that would be so much better! You know, a little thought bubble might be better as well, like, Ooh, I'm hungry! Or, Ooh, I need to be sung to sleep! Not just crying! Ah well, we'll take what we can get, and that is that there is crying happening! Is this what you need? Do you need food? The answer is... You may in fact just need food! That would be good if that's all you need. Hello Fifi! Did you come to help deal with Jim? You probably didn't come to help deal with Jim, did you? Nope! You've currently disappeared into the black hole that is here! And things that walk here and step wrong are never seen again. Or, nope, you're just standing there completely motionless. We'll never know why. Meanwhile, Jim is quiet at the moment. Let's hope that this remains so. When Yvette decides to put Jim back into here. Let's hope that that is what happens. I highly doubt that is what's going to happen, but we could hope. All right, have you had enough? No, you have not. You were really hungry. Okay. Was that what you wanted? We may never know, because this interaction seems to be taking forever. Ah, there we go. And forever has now ended. You go back in there. Are you going to cry? You are still going to cry. Okay, we need to play with you now and see if that makes a difference. Chances are it's going to be that you need to be sung to sleep. That tends to be what the uh, baby needs. Aha! You are not happy with this. That is not what you needed. You needed to be sung to sleep, didn't you? Why don't I try that first? I have no idea why I never try that first. There is one good thing, though. If you scroll away from the baby, the sound of the crying gets quieter. That is good if you don't want to hear the sound, but it's really bad if you want to keep an eye on the baby. Because if you're just a little bit away, you can't hear it. Okay, it's time to sing to Jim. And get rid of that interaction, because Fifi was trying to get in the way. 
Please stop crying, I really need to sleep. My energy need is really low, hunger's getting a bit bad too. Maybe Dave will order a pizza, you can't have any gym. Because you're a baby and babies don't eat pizza. Maybe that's why Jim was crying, it's like, this household orders pizza, I want pizza! I want pizza! No pizza for you yet. Maybe later. Maybe later. Alright, Dave is actually going to be back from work in an hour and five minutes. Dog, meanwhile, is going to believe himself where he always believes himself. Over here. And is Jim finally asleep? Jim is finally asleep. Time for you to go and get some sleep, event yourself. And let's hope that you actually manage to get more than five minutes worth. Let's hope, eh? Okay, you're going to sleep for about an hour, and then Dave is going to get home. And then Dave is going to apparently have an interaction with Fifi. We don't want an interaction with Fifi. We do want an interaction with Dog, however. Hello, Dog. How are you? Or have you forgotten? No, you've not forgotten that Dave is here. We actually need to be focusing on Jim right now, don't we? Actually, no, we don't, because uh, Yvette will get up if uh, if Jim starts crying. We don't want that to happen, however. Come Hello, on. Dog! How are you? Dog is happy to be Dog. You're not going to be getting all the attention pretty soon, though, Dog, because soon Jim will be around to take some of that attention away. But I'm sure you'll be fine with that, right? What? I'm always the center of attention. I'm Dog! That will change eventually. What do we want you to do? We could actually have that interaction go off. Why not? We'll have that interaction go off. It does, I think, help with your social a tiny bit. I think I know what I need you to do. Kick the flamingo, Dave! You do like kicking that flamingo. And that is quite a strong relationship here. 75. Really good, actually. Yes, it does indeed improve your social by uh, having the uh, stray animals interact with you. That is one of the advantages of having them all there. If you choose to interact with them, you can gain social from it. It's really late, though. I think we'll have you study some cooking. Why not? You know, we actually haven't had happen for quite a while. Nothing's broken down for ages. And now I've jinxed myself. Actually, if you're going to study cooking, why don't you just go and harvest some stuff here instead? I think the rate at which you... Oh, wait, never mind. Dog is urinating everywhere. We're going to have to wait for that interaction to finish. We'll, um, no wait, you can actually do that now if you go this way. There is no point in you going all the way round. That is a time waster. Just gonna have you uh, make a little bit of this. If we eventually get loads of it, then we can trade it all in and get something quite nice. Maybe we can actually make another spell. I don't think you're gonna have much time for making spells, but you'll certainly give it your best, won't you? And Jim has remained rather quiet for quite a while. That is awesome! We like it when Jim doesn't just cry all the time. It won't last, but we can hope that it will. It's not going to last, is it? Oh no, it's not going to last. We'll just let time advance a bit. We have actually had a few hours. So we're going to uh, add the beeswax to our inventory. And then we're going to... Um, let's see, we'll just let that happen there. And then I think we'll make a tiny bit more, and then we'll have you go to bed. There we go. Not bad, you've made loads of things there. We'll uh, add the honey and the beeswax to our inventory, and then we'll have you go to sleep. There we go, there's no real reason for you to uh, rush to go to bed, because you're going to be staying home tomorrow. It's Yvette's turn to go- Oh, wait, never mind, it looks like we're gonna have to uh, take care of the baby. And your energy is really, really low. Do you know what? You're going to nap on the sofa right now, because you actually don't have the energy to uh, take care of Jim right now. You're probably actually just going to fall asleep immediately. And both of them are really tired. Okay, Dave is a lot more tired than Yvette, but they're both really tired. You're just going to have to take care of um, Jim for a little bit, and then it's going to be Dave's turn in the morning. Dave is like, you know what? I'm going to be sleeping in here. At least I can actually sleep in here. It won't do his energy any good uh, favours, 
but it's better than having nowhere to sleep. You know, you really should probably uh, focus on taking care of Jim rather than making the bed of that. Ah well, that is your uh, neatness there, shining through. Alright, you're just gonna try feeding Jim first and see if that works. Meanwhile, Dave is like, you know, I haven't slept on one of these sofas for a long time. Not since I was at university. Not since I was at university. Studying being Dave. I was really good at that course. Why was I at university? Oh yes, because there was cheap rent at my friend's room. I didn't actually go to university, did I? Or did I? Oh wait, I think I did! What course did I do? And then, Dave realizes in horror that he completely forgot about the course that he didn't actually go to. Silly Dave, you should have been studying. But you've done pretty okay for yourself. But just think of where you could have been if you had have studied. Who knows, eh? Life is a peculiar thing like that. The opportunities that he had because he didn't study and uh, thus failed at university were opportunities he wouldn't have had had he have studied and succeeded. But he can't spend his time looking back at things he didn't do. He can only look forward at the opportunities that present themselves to him now. Keep looking forward, Dave, not back. A good way to live. And it's time to see if that was what you needed. Was it what you needed? No, no it wasn't. Do you need to be played with? I highly doubt it. It rarely is that. It usually is just uh, needing to be sung to. But you need to check with this interaction. It might... No, it's not. Sometimes you can sort of hear that the uh, baby is calming down. But this really isn't what Jim needs. Jim just needs to be sung at. Most certainly. And you will get quite a bit of energy from that. Not a lot of energy, mind you. It's probably better once um, once Jim is asleep for you to switch over to the um, switch over to the bed. But you'll get a little bit of energy, more energy than what Yvette is getting anyway. All right, time for you to go to sleep. Please go to sleep, Jim. She needs to go to work pretty soon, and we don't want her to get demoted. It would be really difficult for her to get that promotion back. I mean, she won't need to earn any more skills, but they'll need to make loads of family friends. And they have gone beyond the point of needing lots of family friends. I mean, they only have Samuel. They could repair the relationship with Virginia, and uh, maybe uh, Dave could repair the relationship with Bella and Mortimer, but we don't want to have them uh, go back to that grind of making friends. That grind was rather rubbish. Okay, are you going to be asleep now? Time for you to get up and then go back to sleep. It's also time for you to go back to sleep as well. You won't have very good energy at all. There is one advantage to sleeping on uh, sofas, and that is that you get up really quickly. So maybe if we think we're going to get a phone call, also that is the wrong side of bed to get into there, Dave. Your side is over there today. You're not going to be asleep for very long, Yvette. I think around about... Uh, what time do you need to get up? Around about now, actually. Time for you to get up. You're going to uh, fill this up here, serve breakfast, have that, have that, and then turn on the television. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of interactions, and I imagine uh, Dave is going to be asleep for quite a while, or at least until Jim starts crying. That tends to be the way, sleep until your energy is full, or until the baby starts crying. And you're going to complain? Yes you are, because your energy isn't that high. Well, it's not high compared to how it normally is. You have three hours to get, um, let's see, yep, three hours to get everything done. I think you'll be able to do that. I hope you'll be able to do that anyway. Alright, we're just below 3,000 Simonians, which is fine, because they don't really need that money at the moment. They will in a little bit when they need to build a room for Jim. Jim is going to need a room of his own, that's for sure. This house is definitely too small for three Sims and a dog. Two sims and a dog, it just manages to be big enough, but three? I think we have to draw the line at three. Alright, you're going to uh, prepare some food, and then you're going to... Oh wait, you're doing the interactions wrong, aren't you? You are doing the interactions in the wrong order, which is unfortunate. We're going to have you uh, eat first, 
and then you're going to uh, then you're going to deal with bladder, and then you're going to deal with uh, hygiene. We don't want the interactions in the wrong order, that's for sure. All right, time for you to uh, use that, and then this, and then that. Also, your social rather low. We're going to have to deal with uh, these needs to make sure that your mood is good enough that you don't have that risk of being demoted. We don't want that at all. And when we come back, folks, the juggling act between, oh dear, you're not going to have any fun at all. You have no time for that. The uh, juggling act between uh, Dave and Yvette taking care of Jim and managing to maintain their jobs will continue. Pretty soon it will end. But it's not going to end soon enough, unfortunately, because their needs are going to suffer in the interim. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Dag, dag.